OK, I'm going to go over games really quick. Um, I couldn't bring anything to show you for games. And I didn't figure most of you want to do an obstacle course or something. So I'm just going to go over them. And then I think there's pictures of them. All right. So day one, there are different games for pre-primary and for the primary and junior. So the pre-primaries are going to play Little Feet Football. They're playing soccer. Um, Angel Falls Water Play. Um, they're going to be playing with a waterfall. And then a rainforest run that they're going to have an obstacle course with plants and a mister. So a mister is different from a sprinkler in that it just gives you a little bit so they're not coming in soaked. Um, Amazon has a really cool one for like $21 that's height adjustable. It's like a flexible but not flexible stand. So it's going to stand up. Um, it's called the Flex Cobra Flexible Three Nozzle Mister. It's $21 on Amazon. This is what I'm going to be buying for this summer. Your primaries and juniors are playing football survivor, which is soccer, but everyone gets a ball. So you have your playing field, and you're trying to kick everyone's ball out, but keep yours in there. And you want to do it in teams. And then also, they're doing run through the rainforest, um, another obstacle course with misting stand. And like with anything, if you don't have the supplies that they suggest for the obstacle course, just use what you have. Day two's games, the pre-primaries are doing a bunch of parachute games. Parachutes are fun, even for the big kids. They're having a builder's race, where they're race building, like the Tower of Babel. And then they're playing Scatter Tag, which is in honor of the Ta Tower of Babel when they scattered. For the primary and juniors, they're playing Kabaddi. Kids try to tag the opposite team while saying Kabaddi over and over without taking a breath. So they're in lines and they have to run and say Kabaddi, Kabaddi, Kabaddi without taking a breath. And if they take a breath and get caught, they're out. They're also playing Babble, Babble. So they'll have envelopes with instructions and kids will race to the cones to complete the physical action. And then one of the players will pantomime something and the others have to guess. So there's 15 of those challenges. Once their team completes that, they go to their rock with their team label on it, and then they go to the finish line, and they're the winner. Day three, the pre-primaries are playing Pyramids of Sudan. It's a cup stacking game. Then they're playing the Pup Patrol matchup. They're going to have matching cards with the animal pairs. And then Carry the Pup Challenge course. It's an obstacle course with their animal pal. The, pre -primary, or the primaries and juniors are playing Daga. It's basically boa constrictor tag, but with a twist. You only tag one at a time, and then you have to go back to the snake house. So instead of just keeping that long train going, you catch your person, then you have to go to the snake house. Then you have to go back and get more. And the other game is Shades of Color. It's a relay grabbing game. So they have to try and grab all the stuff from the box. The goal is to get as much in your section, except once the box is empty, you can steal from everybody else. The first to get 17 items and say the verse wins. Um, your tip for this one is Dollar Tree is the best place to get hula hoops and um, small foam balls, um, unless you can catch like after summer clearance for next year and stock up Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar, and your children will break them. So it's OK, because they were only a dollar. Day four, the pre-primaries are playing Racing on the Audubon. It's pretend car racing um, in honor of Europe. They're playing London Bridge is Falling Down. And they're having a swan scavenger hunt with the animal pal. Pre-primaries are doing a racing review, an obstacle course review. It's going to review um, the lessons and the verses up to that point. And then pebble chase. Half of the kids are secretly given a pebble in their hand by their leader behind their backs. And those with a pebble on go will race to the finish line. They get to start first. But if you don't have a pebble, you can't go yet until the other people go. So the first two people to make it to the line goes to the final round, and you just keep doing that over and over. Um, for decorative, for rocks, if you don't want to pick them up from your flower beds, Dollar Tree's got the decorative stones that'll work. Day five, the pre-primaries are playing hula hoop games. Again, Dollar Tree for hula hoops. They're playing um, Racer the Roadrunner in honor of the animal pal, and they're playing Catch It, which is a sponge ball toss, um, but they have to say love one another, which is the verse, when they toss it. The pre-primaries and juniors are playing water balloon volleyball and then hoop hoopla, a bunch of hula hoop games. So if you aren't familiar for water balloons, these are your new best friend, a bunch of balloons. They fill up 30 water balloons at one time. Has everyone used them before? Has anyone just never heard of these? They work, and they are amazing. They, you just hook this onto your faucet or a water hose, and it fills up the balloons, and then have, 
your cooler, your bucket, your bin, whatever you're catching them in, have it there to catch them and they'll fall off when they're filled. There's no tying, they're amazing. Um, catch them on sale. They are a bit pricey. They run from seven to $10 for a pack of 100, but they're so worth it. Um, but after summer sales, Kroger is a really good place. Um, and this year, my parents scored me a ton at Costco. Um, keep them stored by the thousands. By the, literally. So I do a thing at my church with the teenagers that help out on water day. We play with water balloons and we literally went through 2000 last year. That was not as fun cleaning up, but they were really, really fun. Um, another thing we do at my church with rec time to reinforce the verse is we have a silly hat challenge. So I have these silly hats like a chicken hat or a hot dog hat and someone at recreation wears the hat every day. And when the kids come to rec, they have to say their verse to the person and they get a piece of gum. So that's a fun little thing. And also having music out at rec, if it's um, an outside place, it's good while the kids are running around playing games, especially if it's the theme music. 